to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kelsey Ray and happy new year. It is 2021 and I am just grateful. So if you made it to this video, give me a thumbs up right now. If you made it to this video, give me a thumbs up right now. If you made it to 2021. Happy New Year, bruh. What's good? How you feeling? Like, today we're gonna do a perm rise set. I've done a perm rise set on my channel already once before, so I'm gonna link it right up above here. But this is a different one, okay? Like, this is different because I am going to be using pre stretched hair. I will be using one product. So, with this perm rise set, you can use whatever you want, but it's just gonna revert back. So, if you use one product, it'll keep the str the stretched look, if you get what I'm saying. So, we're gonna be using one product today, and the product of choice will be the Texture ID Foam, Multi-Styling Foam. So, this is what it looks like. But anywho, we're gonna get right into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you recreate it. If you do, let me know. Send a video, send an Instagram, send a DM, anything. Like, let me know. If y'all aren't, follow me on Instagram because y'all can see me more on Instagram than on YouTube. Like, I'm more, I'm on that mud like almost every day. And like on YouTube, it's like, it take me a while to be on here because I gotta create this video, edit this video, da 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 So anyway, if you don't, follow me on Instagram right now. My Instagram is at Kelsey, K-E-L-S-E-A-R-A-E underscore. So I am going to start off by just sectioning out my hair. So I'm just gonna get like, sections i don't know i could section it even more this is obviously unnecessary but i'm gonna just section my hair i'm gonna get one of my satin squungies these are the perm rods that i will be using i also have the pink ones i'm gonna use the pink ones more for the front because i love when my hair is shorter in the front and longer on the sides and like around you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna try to create that like bangs full bangs type of look so i'm gonna start off with my hair my hair is pretty much detangled but i'm gonna just go in and like lightly lightly detangle so i'm gonna do like this much maybe like two pumps because you know what you don't want to revert your hair back you get what i'm saying so i'm gonna just like get a little bit of that and see what we working with because i don't want to revert it back and you want to focus your foam on your ends really so like I'm focusing a lot on my ends and a little bit to the thing. Okay, wow, I think that's a lot. I'm nervous. I'ma take my perm rod and I'ma put it like middle way. So I'ma leave this much of hair out and I'ma start wrapping my hair around the perm rod. This is the most crucial step when doing perm rods because this is the part everybody gonna see. They ain't gonna see your roots too much cause you gonna fluff it out and stuff like that. But this, your ends, the ends of your hair is the part that everybody gonna see. Like literally. So I'm gonna, I don't even know why I rolled it like that. But anyway, so I'm gonna do it like this. Make sure my ends is nice and flat. And I'm gonna just roll it, like spiral it. So you are gonna spiral your hair around maybe like once or twice, no not once, maybe like twice or three times. And then roll it. And then, uh oh, hope I don't break it. Okay, wait and then snap it boom just like that just like that i felt like this one kind of dried out a little bit so i'm gonna just put a little more on there so take your perm rod i'm gonna show y'all once again this is not hard and i'm pretty sure there's more tutorials on youtube besides this one or my other one that you can that can show you exactly how to do this but um this is the way I do mine. So I'm gonna take my perm rod midway, you see all of that hair left, and then I'm gonna start wrapping it on my, like on my own, you get what I'm saying? And I'm smoothing my hands to where my hair is smooth on the rod, you get what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna like rub, rub my hands through it, and then I'm gonna take this finger, my index finger maybe, whatever finger, and I'm gonna twirl it, you know what I mean? Just twirl it. So I'm giving it a spiral, you get what I'm saying? And a spiral as much as I can, or as much as I feel, and then, that one kinda tight. And then wrap my, um, strap strap around it and then boom they don't have to be super tight because you're not trying to stretch your roots and make sure they're stretched too so you don't have to tighten it up super tight because your roots are already pretty much stretched basically so that is my two and i'm gonna do this side for you guys so i'm gonna take one pump 
I'm not gonna do two pumps this time. I'm gonna take one pump and I'm gonna use like a little bit and kind of like go throughout the hair just to coat it. Then I'm gonna take the other half and focus it on the ends and then drag everything down. So here is my hair halfway on the ride. Now let's wrap her. All right, and then wrap it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then gently twist it around town. Oh, don't let it go. Bring it around town. I don't really wanna twist it that far, that tight. Cause then they gonna look like little dreads at the root. And I don't like that. So all right, boom, and then done. That is what I'm doing. That is how I'm doing it. I feel like there's no right or wrong and stuff like this. You kind of do it how you want to do it. And how if it come out, they how it come out. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? But yes, overall, that is pretty much what I'll be doing. When I feel like the little foam got a little bit dry, I just like add a little bit. So clearly don't do like me and do two sections at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, you don't have to go that high up on your hair because look how much your hair I have out and look how much your hair I have left. You get what I'm saying? So you ain't gotta you ain't gotta OD. Excuse my chair, because every time I move it little make a little noise. But anyway, yeah, so and this is what you do, you're wrapping. Wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. <laughs> I'm just playing. Wrap it, wrap it, and then I could you could go up. It's just do it how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Do it how you feel. So make sure it's on there and then twist. One, two. I think two is good for me. So then see, because it's a little tight. And then boom. That is how I'm going to be doing my perm bra sets. So I'm gonna be back in the flesh when it's halfway done or when it's mostly done, and then I'm gonna let y'all see the front and see the actual full product okay this is my final hair this is what it looked like i tried my best i use so many perm rods because i feel like i want them to be a little smaller instead of thick fluffy ones i want more definition okay i hope you understand that but anyway so this is what my hair is looking like i will sit on the dry for about an hour but to be honest i'm just going to sleep with this so I'm just going to wear it all day, put a bonnet on and a hoodie and ain't nobody going to know. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back and um, take down my hair. That's just to be sure that it's super, super dry. Because hairstyles like this, if you do not dry them, y'all, you're going to look a hat me. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's going to look a mess and it's going to be frizzy. And then next thing you know, you're going to be washing your hair again, trying to do another style. But let me show y'all the back of my hair really, really quickly. This is what the back looks like. Tell me how it look, y'all. Is it cute? Is it ugly? Did I miss something? Let me know. I'll see y'all tomorrow with all I did. Hey y'all, so it's a whole nother day. It's not even a day after that day. It's the next, next day after that day, y'all. <laughs> so basically, I did my perm rod set and I took my hair down the next day for a photo shoot, but it wasn't for the photo shoot, it was for y'all. You get what I'm saying? So I had to take my perm rods out and y'all couldn't see me like actually take them out. Well, I was taking them out on camera, but it wasn't like a sit down and depth like this type of situation. So I wanted to redo it again. So this is the same old hair from the other perm rod set. It's just another set of perm rod set because I'm just trifling like that. And I'm about to take these down with y'all. These probably not the best like it was the first time, but oh well, it's the same technique. Same everything. My voice sounded a little. <laughs> but anyway, to start, I'm going to grab me some oil. You can use any kind of oil. Most people like to use a lightweight oil because they don't want it to be so heavy and weighed down on the hip. But I take any kind of oil. I don't even care. Like, honestly, I just do what I feel. And honestly, I feel like since my hair is colored, color treated hair, I do like a little thicker oil. Let it penetrate or whatever. Y'all, this is a concoction of all kind of stuff. Who knows? Just like that, I am taking them out in the way that they curl so they can look like that. You don't want to do it the opposite way because that can cause frizz and stuff like that. But I mean, honestly, it don't matter. And that is how it's looking. They look so good. This is the second time I'm doing it on this same particular hair. Like I didn't wash my hair or nothing. Wow, they look amazing. They look like I never, I didn't, like, you know, they look like freshly washed hair. Anyway, so I'm going to take these down and um, I'll show you how I separate. Mm -hmm. 
this is what my hair is looking like y'all they are all out i'm gonna go back in with that same oil and i'm gonna apply more to my hands so i'm gonna apply more to my hands and i'm just gonna like run my fingers through the curls y'all like my new hair color i love it honestly and i've been working on my brows let me know what y'all think about my brows and if y'all want an updated tutorial on how i do my brows i can show y'all and like show y'all how i get this like color to match my hair a little bit but yes y'all so now i'm going to just take down i don't take down in no specific order like i don't like start from the back and work my way up but i do make sure when i am separating i'm going in the way of the curl so that is what i'm doing y'all i am going to separate each curl and i'm going to twirl it uh -oh, in the way of the curl if it don't go that way go the other way <laughs> i love the way that texture id mousse or foam whatever y'all want to call it like leaves my hair it doesn't leave it flaky it it definitely has shine to it and y'all my hair feels mad soft that's so crazy right And now I'm just going in with my wide tooth comb and I'm just picking out the roots just to give it a little volume. And this is pretty much the look. I love it. Everybody keeps complimenting me on it. So thank you to those who have. And I love the way this look. As the days go on, it looks better and better. We always know that. But yep, for the most part, that's pretty much all I do to achieve this look. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you recreate it as well. Y'all, this hairstyle really cute. Like, especially when the curls is popping, you take a selfie and it'd be cute. <laughs> but yes, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what is the next hairstyle y'all want me to try. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.